Hi everyone, it's Dawn and I hope you're having a fantastic week. Well, Princess is in the news now as they're being sued in court and this time they're being sued over bed bugs. So a recent court filing against Princess Cruises is from a Ms. Flores. And she, in case you didn't know, had a small role in a Netflix movie. Apparently back in November of 2018, they were on board the Emerald Princess. Uh, in which time they said they were gorged on by hundreds of bedbugs. Now, bed bugs on hotels and bed bugs, you know, it's a worldwide problem actually. Bed bugs are all over the place, different people traveling, some people cleaner than other people, and in, or hotels cleaner than other places, and bed bugs will get into your luggage and travel with you. So, bed bugs are a, a big thing. Now, cruise ships check for bed bugs basically every single week when or every time they switch cabins or when they're cleaning the cabins they're on the lookout the cleaning staff is definitely on the lookout in fact they normally on some cruise lines like princess they change you know do a turn down service so they're in your room checking your room and cleaning your room twice a day but it still can happen to have bed bugs now some of the things that are being said in the lawsuit came across as a little bit more curious. Now, they, the, the actress and her husband said they reported it to the medical staff where they were diagnosed with bed bugs. And they said this led to severe uh, skin rashes, reactions, uh, bites on their bodies, and it aggravated previous medical conditions. And I guess that'll play up a little bit later. So, Here's the part that I don't understand about the story. Now, if anyone has ever dealt usually with customer service, when you deal with customer service in a calm manner, 99 times out of 100, you know, they're going to help you, but they're, they're generally always courteous. And in this lawsuit, they state that the, the staff uh, not only didn't pay any attention to them, refused to move them to another cabin, basically ignored them. They also said that uh, they treated them rudely and ridiculed them. Now, uh, this is the part I, I, I have a hard time with because, you know, I've seen people have issues and, but generally they're always, I've, I've never seen a crew staff member ridicule another passenger. Ever. Ever have I seen that. And especially one that may have some notoriety, uh, you know, something in the public eye. Um, I, that part I just, I just don't get. But, you know, the law dude says that the Cruise line behavior was so outrageous that it went beyond the reasonable grounds of decency. And so these are all lawyer terms. These are meant to sound as harsh and egregious as possible. Maybe a sort, you know, a court settlement can come out of this. Maybe they'll get an offer. They're suing the cruise line for $75,000 saying that their clothes were ruined, their personal belongings were ruined, and they're still living the after effects of being gorged on by these insects. Now, bed bugs is no laughing matter. Don't wish that on anybody. Um, I just wish, you know, there, as we always say, there's always two sides to every story, and the truth usually lies somewhere in the middle. So, was there possibly bed bugs in the room? Yes, absolutely. It can happen every time. Did the cruise line ignore it? Uh, well, first off, the cruise line would never ignore bed bugs in a room. They immediately would go in and, you know, spray that room down uh, as best they can. And just because they don't want it to spread anywhere else on the ship. So, that for them to have said they reported it and the cruise ship just ignored it, that part I have a hard time believing. I also have a hard time believing that the cruise ship was rude and obnoxious and ridiculed them. 
that's just me. That's not my experience in cruising. I've been on 106 now. So yeah, I've never had anybody ridicule me, no matter how dumb I was. <laughs> and I've done some dumb things in my day. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, uh, we'll see where this goes. Um, it was back in November of 2018, not 2019. So I'm wondering why it's taken over a year for these, you know, court documents to be filed. Um, I don't know. Not only that, they didn't go to a regular lawyer. They went to a bed bug lawyer. <laughs> That's right. There's a bed bug lawyer in the United States that specializes in suing for bed bugs. <laughs> I don't know. That's the world we live in nowadays. Well, what do you guys think? Do you think this is probably completely true that they were treated horribly and the cruise line just ignored the bed bug situation? Uh, I've seen bed bugs on cruise ships and they were not ignored. They were jumped on immediately and the people moved and all their stuff was uh, destroyed and they were bought all new clothes and their you know, even their luggage was destroyed and they paid for new luggage and they paid for the new bigger cabin and they just, they, they basically took care of them. So I really have a hard time believing that they were ignored and ridiculed. But that's my experience and everybody's experience is different. Let me know what you guys think down below and well, I hope you appreciate this new story. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Want to see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world? Hit that subscribe button. Till next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.